Hmm. Hey, y'all. It's raining. I got wet. I look fuzzy. But I'm propped up because y'all know when I'm in upright position, we got a haul. Let's get into it. Let's get into the test store collection, baby. B. So I hope y'all can hear me over the AC, but jumping things off with the first candle, this is Texas Pecan Pie, AKA the sugar pecan pie that we had before. So I didn't go buku and got backups to this because I got some in the black packaging out of MOS. So I have like three of those, but it's toasted, Texas toasted pecans, brown sugar and buttery pie crust. And if you know this scent, you know what I get all of that. I actually like this one because I get that crust note that we pick up with the brown sugar and blueberry pie, just pecan. Now, what fell flat pecan wise? Remember last holiday we had sugar pecan? I ended up feeding my sugar pecan, which was very, uh, it was low throw off of this and it did what it needed to do. So this on its own with the cinnamon amazing i hope they don't bring that cinnamon um sugar pecan back because they might as well just leave the pecan pie alone but isn't she pretty in that collection we have the vermont maple candy the scent note goes as follow you have vermont maple syrup toasted almonds and sea salt i get sweet on top of sweet on top of sweet if you don't like that syrupy note that's in pumpkin pecan waffle you may not like this because this is that, you know, our Bath & Body Works, that artificial caramel, artificial syrup. It's not that high-end syrup. Uh, caramel fragrance oil, I'm here for it. I can see a lot of people not liking this because this is cloyingly sweet. Um, I get a little bit of bitter note from it, and I guess that's coming from the nuttiness of the toast and almonds, but I get no sea salt. But again, this is just cold through impressions. Out of that collection, we have the blueberry cotton candy. Now, I can see this being a dupe for blueberry sugar because i don't vaguely remember blueberry sugar in my mind i remember i had it and didn't care for it because i'm a fan of blueberry and i like my blueberry to knock me off my feet it'll be hard not to i'm telling y'all blueberry and lemon are some of the hardest scent throws to screw up and i just don't remember my blueberry sugar even having a decent throw so nonetheless i have high hopes for this because you know bath and body works my blue my gourmand goat is blueberry pie this is definitely not giving me buttery pie crust. I get blueberry, I get sugar. I get what it say it is. I just hope this is a stronger version of blueberry sugar. But what I'm most excited for is, this is the toasted coconut cookie. Now, if you don't know me, you know, if you do know, I tell you, I'm a fan of anything coconut, Bath and Body Works make. This is toasted coconut flakes, vanilla cookie, cocoa powder. I get some deepness from some cocoa powder. I, I get that. This is giving me Girl Scout Samoa cookie without the caramel. You know how you got that sticky coconut? You got that chocolate? I'm getting that. I just hope it has a decent roast, but nonetheless, these two belong to the hometown collection. And then we have pumpkin mint milkshake. So I guess if you take pumpkin filling times maybe a vanilla mint ice cream and make it into a milkshake very complex more of that goose creek candle routed things let's mix it up let's shake the table this is giving that it's giving vanilla ice cream mint chips and pumpkin pie spice i think this one might actually be good it might be the sleeper of the line so i'm mostly excited for this because i get a creamy pumpkin it's not buttery it's not nutty it's not a pumpkin pie crust but I get that creaminess that it says, but more, I'm, I'm excited for this one. But what I'm excited about, if y'all have not guessed the apple macchiato, I am here for all things coffee. This is Washington spiced apples. You have a hint of cinnamon, caramel drizzle and froth milk. So I'm, I'm thinking, give me coffee, but I don't pick up a coffee note from this. Nonetheless, I pick up more of a spicy apple, like an apple pie filling with some sweet caramel. I don't even get the milky froth. But if this is apple pie 2.0, aka with a better throw, I won't be mad at it at all. So this wraps up Hometown Collection Part 1. 
So keeping up with the hometown collection, well, it can, it's stepping into fall too. This is Autumn Chai. Now, Autumn Chai from the other Chai one that we had last year that was the online exclusive. And I think there was another Chai one in store one time before, White Chai or something like that. This one does give a cinnamon chai and French vanilla smooth caramel note. So unlike the other ones that we had, this one is given very much heavy on the cinnamon. So if you if you drink chai, um, you know that chai is a spice. It's a spiced tea. Or if you're like me, you drink a dirty chai and you drop a shot of espresso in it, this will be a good time to mix this with like Paris Cafe. But on its own, is given very heavy cinnamon, like a chai tea, like a chai tea latte with some sweet cream foam. So it's a little different than the one that we normally have. Speaking of sweet and sugar, Hometown Collection, the Hometown Sugar Cookie. So warm sugar cookie, ground cinnamon, fresh nutmeg. The difference between this and cookies with Santa is that nutmeg is uh, uh, uh. So if you know anything about cooking and baking, you have cinnamon, you have nutmeg, you have clove, you have cardamom. They're all in that spicy family. But nutmeg is just a little more assertive. Nutmeg can be used in savory dishes as well. And with this, this really take that sugar cookie up a notch, right? So I'm thinking, well, what's the difference between a sugar cookie and a snickerdoodle that has cinnamon and sugar? Well, snickerdoodle has brown sugar and cinnamon versus where this is giving you cinnamon and this is heavy on the nutmeg. So I can see why this came out as a fall candle. This is giving me very much Poseberry or middle of the mall fresh big sugar cookie. I think I'm going to like it, but more so that vanilla, this would be a good blending candle as well. Okay. So I'm not really done. I have Walk in the Woods. If you saw my IG, you saw me describe this as that cedar. Y'all know the men like cedar. You have the patchouli. You have the dark peppercorn. It's very woodsy. It's very heavy. It's very cologne-y. If you're not into rich, grown, and sexy scents like this, I'm going to tell you now, go ahead and stand back. Like I said, somebody fine-ass granddaddy who still got his all his real teeth. You know, he probably a widower. He ain't trying to get married. He just want to kick it with you. He going to show you a good sign. He got on his pea coat. He wear hard bottom shoes. He got on his broom hat with the red feather. He going to show you how the moon men do. This him all day long. This to me, I love growing sexy. This is backup worthy to me. And then to wrap up this haul, I'm going to show y'all three of out of the five newbies that's arriving. This is salted caramel pretzel. I get that caramel that we normally get with Bath and Body Works. I get the pretzel like in that pretzel milkshake candle without the chocolate. It is fresh, brick, fresh baked pretzel, brown sugar, caramel, and sea salt. If you take everything about that pretzel milkshake candle Take the milky note out of it. Take the chocolate out note of it. This is what you have. I wouldn't have mind this being chocolate dipped salted caramel pretzel. But nonetheless, again, that sweet caramel that Bath & Body Works is known for. That caramel that's in white pumpkin. That caramel that's in pumpkin pecan waffle. You're going to get that with that. And then we have this one that's very interesting. It has a warm spiciness to it, which we have Sweater Weather, one of the masculine goats, times sweet cinnamon pumpkin, juniper berries, aromatic eucalyptus, warm cinnamon, fresh, fresh ground cloves. Nonetheless, I am here for it. I do pick up the pumpkin in it. I never buy sweet cinnamon pumpkin, but sweet cinnamon pumpkin times Sweater Weather, that warm, that spiciness, that clove. Almost like that base note in Winter Cabin. I'm feeling it. But y'all know what I was mostly excited about. I'm going to take a little break and come back. Let me see if y'all can guess. Coffee liqueur. Vodka. Coffee liqueur. Right? You have vodka. You have dark chocolate swirl. You have... <laughs> Chocolate espresso martini, y'all. I am here for it. The espresso note is there. I am here for it. This is going to be back up worthy. I had a chocolate martini at Outback Steakhouse one time. 
it came home and replicated but i made mine stronger this is my version everything i just told you chocolate liqueur espresso a splash of vodka dark chocolate swirl you get it you pick it up i just hope the, the warm throw is amazing and the warm throw isn't amazing we have other coffee candles we can blend this with nonetheless this was i i feel like this gonna be me this gonna be the start of the line for me however the thanksgiving feast which is mashed potatoes and sage stuffing that one hadn't arrived yet when i left today i probably would get that one just for the hell of it and the candy maple bacon i am here for that one that has not arrived yet so i have some 11 dollars three-way coupons i'm going to grab those when they do but nonetheless this is another little fall roundup haul y'all tell me what y'all gonna pick up because these hit the floor soon and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video